guys and welcome back to Leagues Ahead Diving in Gran Canaria where today we're going to be doing something slightly different and we're going to be showing you the top four places to go snorkeling in Gran Canaria for free. Now if you have your own equipment and you know how to snorkel this is the only guide that you would need. If you're looking to rent equipment, try snorkeling with one of our guides or take it one step further and try scuba diving then please get in contact at www.leaksdiving.com. Now, without further ado, let's grab our mask and our snorkel and let's get exploring the beautiful underwater world of Gran Canaria. Our first stop is Porta de Magan. <sighs> Porta de Magan is a beautiful town on the south coast of Gran Canaria. This place is commonly known as Little Venice because of its seawater inlets, narrow paths, and hanging flowers. You may think that the beach is the best place to go snorkeling here, but the best snorkeling is actually just to the left side of the beach. Walk down the pier until you find the steps. Hold onto the rope to avoid slipping. Enter the water and then follow the coastline towards some cool caves. It is recommended that you carry a buoy with you in these spots, so boats and paddleboarders can see you with ease. You can see many Atlantic and Mediterranean fish such as this cuttlefish, and much more. Welcome to snorkeling site number two, Amadores. Nestled between Puerto Rico and Puerto de Magan, Amadores Bay is an 800 meter long beach made from imported Caribbean sand. This snorkeling site is protected by man-made breakwaters. This reduces swell and ensures calm water all year round. Making this one of the easiest snorkeling sites in Gran Canaria. We often see cuttlefish, shoals of sardines and a variety of smaller colorful fish. And when you finish, you can grab a cold drink at one of the many bars and restaurants at the beachfront. Cheers! Welcome to snorkeling site number three, Risco Verde. Located in Aranaga on the east coast of Gran Canaria, Risco Verde is on the fringe of El Cabron, the marine reserve. Once you are ready to start snorkeling, walk down the steps, along the black sand, and enter the water. It is important to remember that hiding beneath the surface are pebbles and larger rocks. Although not as easy an entry as Amadorus, the marine life here is typically more prolific. Snorkel to the left side of the beach. Here you have a shallow reef that is home to an abundance of tropical fish. It is also possible to spot angel sharks and stingrays in this snorkeling location. And if you see a scuba diving beneath you, make sure to say hello. Welcome to snorkeling site number four, Tufia. Tufia is a snorkeling site 10 minutes further north than Risco Verde. You want to walk down the hill between the whitewashed houses and then down the steps to reach your entry point. Always enter on the left side of the bay on the sandy part of the beach, as the rest of the bay is too rocky. Once you are in the water, we recommend snorkeling to the left as this is a shallow reef that will allow you to get up close and personal to the fish. Music 
Here you can spot octopus, cuttlefish and stingrays. Once you are ready to exit the water, snorkel back to your entry point and exit the same way that you entered. Well, we hope that you enjoyed the guide and you enjoyed the beautiful underwater world that Gran Canaria has to offer. Please remember to always snorkel within your experience level and to assess the weather conditions before you enter. We want to make sure that your snorkeling experience is a safe one. On our website, you can find a blog post that goes into detail about the four top free snorkeling sites here on Gran Canaria. Here you can find a variety of information, including some apps that will help you determine the weather conditions. Of course, if you would like us to take care of everything for you, please remember that we offer guided tours and we also rent snorkeling equipment. We also offer a huge variety of scuba diving excursions here in Gran Canaria. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a wonderful holiday here in Gran Canaria.